I am too smart. I am too smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-R-T. All right, guys, welcome to the notes on 4-4. Uh, this is the fourth attempt at this video notes because I keep messing up the the technology. I apologize if there's any heckling. Hopefully the heckling will be, remain to a minimum because the students that in, are in here would like to see their families again one day. Uh, okay, sorry, I've threatened them adequately and they will now be quiet. All right, so parallel and perpendicular lines. Hopefully you have some knowledge of this stuff, just of the words themselves, parallel lines are non-vertical parallel lines. Non-vertical parallel lines have the same slope. So um, vertical lines have no slope. They are all parallel, but they have no slope. So vertical lines, parallel lines are lines with the same slope. What we're going to do is we're going to use point slope form that we just practiced with and uh, some information to write new equations of lines. So for example, here we're given this equation of this line. And then we're said there's another line y equals or that has this point where x and y are negative 3 and 5, and we want a new equation of that line. All that we do is we take the given slope, we use that, we take the given point, and we plug that into point slope form, and then we just change it to slope intercept form. Very simple stuff. So let's do that with this. Where you're going to use point slope form. And then I'm just going to substitute everything in. So y minus the y value. The y value is negative 1. So y minus negative 1 is y plus 1. The slope is the same as this slope because they're parallel. And then x minus the x value. From here, two short steps to get me to the answer. First, I'm going to distribute so nothing happens to the left. And second step is I'm going to subtract. And that's it, y equals 1 fourth x minus 2, okay? No problem so far. Uh, perpendicular lines are lines that have opposite reciprocal slopes. So opposite means that the sign changes, reciprocal means that the numerator and denominator switch places. Vertical lines and horizontal lines are always perpendicular. That's important to know. Let's take a look how we can use this stuff in a real world situation. So this is a company's logo. They want to know a few things. They want to know, is uh, our, our is DBE, is that a right angle? So all we have to do is find the slope of DA, the slope of BE, and see if this is perpendicular, because perpendicular means right angle. So they do that math right there, and they get negative 2 fifths, 5 halves. Those two are opposite and reciprocal, so we have a right angle. Then they want to know, is each uh, opposite side is a parallel? Well, this line right here is horizontal, and so is this line, so they have a slope of 0. This line right here is vertical, and so is this line, so they have a slope that's undefined, so both of those lines are parallel. We're going to use a, a, a real-world example of the treehouse. We have some beams that have been represented by QR and ST, and we want to know, are the beams perpendicular? So what we're going to do is we're going to find the slope of QR, and we're going to find the slope of ST, and use that to determine whether or not the lines are perpendicular. So QR, the difference between the Ys, we have 2 minus 8. And the difference between the x's is negative 6 minus negative 1. So this equals negative 6 fifths. Sorry, negative 6 over negative 5, which equals 6 fifths. And then the slope of st, we have 6 minus 5. And we have negative 3 minus negative 8. So this equals 1 fifth. These two are not opposite. Uh, whoops, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't erase. These aren't opposite, and they aren't reciprocal, so the lines are not, okay? These lines are not perpendicular because we don't have opposite or reciprocal slopes, okay? Easy enough. There we go. Not perpendicular, we don't have opposite or reciprocal slopes. Should be and. All right, next question. We're going to determine whether the graphs of y equals 5, x equals 3, and y equals negative 2x plus 1 are parallel or perpendicular. I'm going to show you how to do this problem in your calculator. I think that's a worthwhile thing for us to know. The only thing that we're going to have to do to put this problem in our calculator is we have to change this equation so that it is y equals. Okay, we're going to change this so that it is y equals. So we have 6x minus 2y equals negative 2. 
First, we're going to subtract 6x from both sides. So we have negative 2y equals negative 6x minus 2. Then we're going to divide everything by negative 2. So we have y equals 3x plus 1. Now we have y equals 3x minus 4. And we have y equals 4. Now some of you may be already saying, well, these two are going to be parallel because they have the same slope. We're going to put in our calculator and find out. So what I've done is, is I've gone into the menu and I've gone here, down here to the graph menu and I've put in each of these equations. It doesn't matter what order. And then I'm going to draw them all at the same time. And I get this. If your view window isn't right, hit F3 in standard. Or if you're in a TI, just hit zoom 6. Okay. And what I get is uh, none of the lines are perpendicular, but it does appear as though these two lines are parallel. So I can say that the two lines are parallel. They have the same slope. Okay, Two of the lines are parallel because they have the same slope. Let's take a look at this. Perpendicular through a given point is the same as parallel through a given point with one minor hiccup. And the hiccup is, is that if the slope given for this one is negative two-thirds, that when we plug it in, we have to make it the opposite reciprocal. Now, we wouldn't do all this because we've talked about slope in a line that is in standard form is just the opposite of A over B, so the opposite of 2 is negative 2, and B is 3. So we wouldn't have to even have to do all this work. We know the faster way. Once you get there, we plug everything in, we change it to slope-intercept form, easy stuff. Let's take a look at this one. Let's write the formula again, Y minus Y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we have the y value, so y minus 7 equals the slope. If the slope here is 2 thirds, then the opposite reciprocal, you are not dismissed, sit down. Negative 3 over 2 times x minus 4. Then two steps from here to the answer. First distribute y minus 7 equals negative 3 over 2 x plus 6. And then we're going to add 7 to both sides, y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 13. Okay, and that's it. Any questions on the examples, make note of them and remind me in class and we'll look at them again. Here's a nice little concept summary thing of words, symbols, and models of parallel and perpendicular lines. You might want to write down in your notes the symbols of what those are. What I'd like for you guys to do is that there's 10 problems right here, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Go ahead and pause the video, try those four. Then pause the video and try 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Try those. I'll take any questions from those when you get to class next time. This has been really fun. Hopefully I don't have to make this video again for the 5th or 6th or 7th time um, because my class has been telling me that I look like an astronaut for the better part of the day. So hopefully this worked. If it did, great. See you next time. If it didn't, I will have, uh, I don't know, I will destroy this computer and you'll never see this video. Bye.